Okay, hello there ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another video of Game of Linux. Today I'm finally happy to announce that Terraria has released on Linux. Yeah! This makes me so, so happy. It's a game that I've loved for uh, quite a few years now. As you can see, it's just literally released like a couple of hours ago. It's uh, the Linux and Mac open beta. The beta is basically the full game, but they're basically wanting people to test the game, see if there's any bugs and stuff like that. So they're class classifying it as the beta. So you literally just need to opt in on it there. Um, as you can see, I've already ticked it. It's not dropping down for me for some reason. Um, but yeah, basically I bought this game a few years ago. As you can see, I've 110 hours already played on the game. And uh, I've spent about 55 hours the last couple of weeks playing 1.3 as well. Um, but as you can see, it's working great. But basically, um, what I was thinking is, because I didn't get the chance to uh, classify my purchase as a Linux purchase, and I won't have chance unless I rebuy it. I thought, I tell you what, I'll actually set up a competition for you guys, and I will um, set it up so I'll buy it for one of you guys. And all you need to do is, I'm going to post basically on, uh, basically put a Reddit post, and uh, I'll think of the rules are. Whilst I'm on Reddit, but I'll link the Reddit post in the description uh, when uh, when this video is uploaded. So you guys should have a chance to win this game on uh, Linux and uh, be able to play this on Linux. Uh, I get paid on Tuesday, so that's probably when the uh, the winner will be announced. So keep your eye out for that, guys. But yeah, moving on uh, to this game. Uh, as you can see, I I'm pretty far in the game. Um, I've spent a hell of a lot of time on it and. It's just one of the games that brings you back for more. It's it's amazing. It's it's one of the greatest games I've played. Some people would make the comparison, say, "Oh, it's just a, a 2D Minecraft." Um, obviously, because you can build stuff. And uh, it, it just, at first glance, you would say, "Look, it, it is a 2D Minecraft because you can uh, you got a world, you can build houses, uh, and that is the purpose of Minecraft, right? That's what you do in Minecraft. So that's what you do in Terraria. Therefore, it's a 2D." Uh, counterpart of Minecraft. Very wrong, actually. When you, when you actually play this game, you, you realise how much funner it is. Uh, personal opinion, maybe uh, your opinion differs from mine, but um, like I said, as you can see, I'm quite far. But that that is one of the, the, the words, sentences that stands out. I am far. Uh, you can't really say that in Minecraft, you sort of have to create your own adventure, uh, maybe with mods or something, but this this game gives you a sense of, you know, getting further, completing the game, uh, it strives you to, you know, loot more stuff, and, you know, there's a lot to it, like, as you can see, uh, this is a solar eclipse that is currently happening, it is one of the uh, end game sort of things that happens, as you can see, uh, I love dick, uh, that wasn't created by me, that was uh, my girlfriend uh, who made it, uh, but yeah, uh, more about multiplayer in a minute. Um, but yeah, there's a lot to it. You know, you can strive uh, and beat many, many bosses throughout a game. Um, and each boss you beat, uh, well, not every single boss, but when you defeat certain bosses, it progresses the game a little bit more. So uh, let's let's say you beat—is uh, it Skeletron? Yeah, I think Skeletron, uh, once you beat him, he, he advances it to hard. Oh no, sorry, it's, it's the Wall of Flesh. When you beat the whole uh, Wall of Flesh, who is a boss in hell, I'm currently going to hell right now, this is my elevator that I've created, uh, you fall down and it just leads you straight to hell. When you beat the Wall of Flesh, uh, that unlocks hard mode, and hard mode is uh, basically what, what it says on the tin. For some reason, it's very dark, this game. Let's uh, maybe have a look. Maybe that's one thing the have parallax. That's a bit light in colour, white, retro, trippy, white for lighting. Whoa! Hi. It just seems very, um... Right, okay, I think I've brightened it up a little bit, but it seems very dark. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, uh, the wall flash is the... He basically unlocks hard mode. And that's when you, a game, uh, as suggests, gets a little bit harder. Uh, you got some different types of enemies that spawn, um, and it's just a lot of stuff like that. Uh, it just add, they just add so much more to the, uh, the game each time. There you go. 
And for some reason, certain sounds aren't working. I guess that might be one of the bugs. Uh, as you can see, I've got music on full. Well, now I do anyway. And stuff like that, but it's not working currently. But as you can see, this is a house that I've built as well. Uh, let's have a look. There's certain cool things like this. I've got, I've got a portal gun over there. It's just fucking awesome. Look at this. Right. I don't know why I just did that. Uh, look, this. Ha! Yeah. Okay, let's just. Uh, can't really. Oh, there you go. Let's. Whee! Yep, that's the portal gun. But the. the the other great thing about uh, Terraria is that the developers relogic, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, they released 1.3 recently. Uh, they they do this a lot. They they do massive updates for the game. So obviously 1.3 being a massive update, uh, which added a lot more creatures, uh, more weapons. I think this is one of the new weapons. Uh, the, the star the the Starf, uh, the tsunami. So you you got all sorts. Uh, different types of weapons to test out, and you got like uh, magic ones. Uh, for some reason, like I said, there's certain sounds aren't working, which sort of sucks, but uh, maybe that's an issue that they'll sort out soon. Um, but yeah, they, they add a lot to the game uh, every now and again. It's, ba it's basically like DLC, but it's just an update for them. So, uh, what other games developers would call DLC, it's just an update for Relogic. Uh, it's, it's one thing that I love about this game. You purchase it, uh, like I say, I purchased it like three, three years ago or something like that. And it just, I just keep getting brought back to the game. There was 1.2, which was an update, and I got brought back to the game then. And then 1.3, and since 1.3 I spent 50 hours on the game. That is incredible, like that's a lot of hours put into one game. Um, even I agree. I might actually try and um, travel to a the dungeon and maybe try and fight a one of the bosses, one of the harder bosses. Uh, so if you don't want to see one of the, the end game bosses, uh, well close to end game bosses then you probably don't want to watch uh, after when I say. But yeah they add a lot to the game every time. Like the solar, the solar eclipse which is happening right now, that's quite a new thing. Uh, I think they recently, only recently added that uh, in the 1.3 update. Look how dark it is man, Jesus. Have to be solar eclipse now. I'm making a damn video. But no, I have literally nothing but love for this game. And uh, one thing I hated about this game when I first got it a few years ago is that you had to like, um, oh, what was it? You had to use something called Hamachi to uh, use the multiplayer of the game. So you couldn't really play it properly. Uh, so you had to use stupid Hamachi thing which was really annoying to use, I didn't really like it. Um, you couldn't directly connect through Steam, like that cake who just played, I, I, don't, I don't know, like if I wanted to I could open this world for him and then he could he could just like click on my name and go join game and that's how easy it is nowadays. It's just how it should have been basically. I wanted it to be like that years ago and they finally added it in the 1.3 update so they've made multiplayer a hell of a lot easier. Um, me and my girlfriend play this game a hell of a lot. Um, we, me and her have been absolutely loving this game recently. Um, oh, that makes it a bit lighter uh, doing that. Maybe if I get rid of a uh, background, that might help. Let's have a look. No, that just makes it starry. Oops. Still taking all chunks of health off. I wonder if this actually works in triple screen. Uh, if I just. Oh. No, it's not like that. Oh, there's a sky world. Oh, it's a Martian! It's a Martian! Oh no! I'd be a beat it back soon. Oh. If uh, if I let that Martian detect me, then he um, would have called upon his uh, his Martian buddies and had a good little fight with me. Did that uh, recently with my, like as my girlfriend. I think what I'm gonna do as well is uh, I'm gonna live stream this game a little bit, maybe on expert mode. Uh, but yeah, here's the boss. So if you don't want to see like the boss, uh, I'm, do I'm being a bit risky here because it's um, it, it is the solar eclipse, so it might be a little bit harder to beat him. But yeah, let's, let's give it a shot. I don't really care. Let's have a bit of fun. So as you can see, this is the lunatic cultist. Uh, he's a pretty difficult guy. It took me a couple of times to uh, finally beat him, but uh, now I've got weapons which will should basically easily take him out. I should hope so anyway. Let me just 
storm a dragon. Uh, where is he? Oh yeah, this is a <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. That's not good. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, no, stop doing that. Oh shit. I totally screwed up then. Totally screwed up. As you can see, uh, when he did that thing, what I was supposed to do was hit the correct person, uh, and uh, there was only. Okay, so this is the. What? Oh, Jesus! I've done it again. Oh no! But no! 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 I screwed up. Oh no! Where's my other thing? That is. Hopefully that helps. Oh Jesus! I'm getting wrecked here. Yeah, absolutely wrecked. Let's use a potion. I thought I'd beat him. Then. I just. Is that him? Like? They get him out of <gasps> What? Oh my days, oh my days, oh my days. Okay, so this is how you see a major screw up on the Oh no. So as you can see the, the bosses don't mess around. They they are hardcore man. And this isn't even the hardest boss. There is a harder one after this. Uh there he is. Yes, I actually got him, just him. Oh my god, I've done it! Oh, oh Jesus! I totally screwed up that fight. Then I'm so lucky to have won that. Okay, uh, try and not let the that guy beat me. Okay, so I got a few things. Oh, I got the trophy for clearing him. I guess so many bloody times. Um. Oh Christ! Right, and there's the dungeon as well. So as you can see, there is a lot of biomes to this game. So uh, there's the jungle, the the dungeon, uh, the corruption. Uh, when once you spawn a world, you either get corruption or crimson. It's like different types of uh, things that screw up your world. Uh, and when it becomes hard mode, it actually spreads throughout the game, and it makes your your life a lot harder. Uh, if you see at my house, um, the corruption has spread to my house. So I had to basically expand my sky house. Uh, the sky house originally was very small, but I had to expand it so I had enough rooms for everybody um, because everyone had to move out the older house because it was corrupt. But yeah, this is the dungeon. It's it's very hard now because um, I, I'm in like ex like hard hard mode. Um, but you can see I've got all sorts of stuff. Like uh, the armor I've got on is just. Um, that you can see me wearing is just uh, in the the social slot, so it's not the stuff that you use in armor wise. It's the stuff that I, I like the look of. So I've just got that equipped in the uh, see the obsidian outlaw, uh, and I've got the uh, the Martian trooper torso. So yeah, I'm wearing a quite a ranged um, type of clothing there. Oh look at that! It's a spider's nest up there. Let's just quickly go up there. Some spiders. That's if there's any in here. There's all sorts of things I've added to it as well, like, uh, like well, like you, I said, just said, there's a spider's nest now. Uh, there's there's bees' nest as well. Uh, you, you go into bees' nest and you can summon the queen bee, and that's one of the bosses that's available. Uh, there's just so many bosses, and and they've recently added achievements as well, so you can sort of get an idea of. Uh, how many bosses there are, I'll show you them in a minute. As you can see them in the favorite. Ah, oh, there you go, there's some spiders there. Maybe there's a chest somewhere as well. Maybe a chest, if uh... But as you can see, this is the, one of the things that you'll find yourself doing throughout most of the game, is literally dig, 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 trying to find your way uh, and try and find certain ores. As you can see I've got some equipped which actually makes uh, certain treasure shine. I don't remember what the hell I'm wearing to make it do that. <laughs> um, but it's, it's pretty cool so I can say, see where certain ores are going to be and treasure and stuff like that. Um, let's try and keep digging. There you go, there's some spiders there and there is the... Can I... Why are you here? Why are you actually here? I'm sure I already got this person. But there'd be a chest here or something. Apparently not. Let's just uh, go back. Oh! But yeah, as you can see, there is 
different, loads of different types of weapons uh, so that you can choose from. Arrows. Um, you can uh, spawn summon a lot of things. You can see I spawned like a dragon there. I can spawn this thing here. That's like summons like two sort of portal things that do a lot of damage. Uh, so if I go down, uh, it's Mothron. As you can see, my place is corrupt like hell. So if I use them, then they can just take out Mothron for me. I've got this eye as well who protects me. As you can see, I'm not attacking this guy at all, and he's getting wrecked. Um, there's just a lot to this game. Uh, it's. I, I guess you just have to sort of play it to understand. But yeah, like I said, I think I'm going to stream it uh, soon. Maybe try a new character on expert mode, uh, because this is normal mode. Expert mode is a lot harder, as it suggests in the title. Well, yeah. So maybe I'm going to try that in the future. But yeah, um, yeah. So just check out the description uh, for the competition idea that I've got um, and how to enter it and stuff like that. But yeah, guys. Um, yeah, apologies for the uh, shortage of videos. I, I hope to get back on top of that uh, as I've just lacked videos recently. I've just been working my ass off. As you can see as well, just before I leave, there is a lot of achievements to earn. I've earned a lot of them already. As you can see, defeat every boss in Terraria, 13 out of 14. I know who I know who it is that I haven't beat, but <laughs> there's 14 bosses. I mean, there's, there's a lot. Uh, fire a rainbow gun while riding on you, go on, cool. So there's like, there's a lot of random stuff, isn't there? Like, obtain a gold for sure. Uh, spend over one gold being treated by a nurse. Oh, I'm close to that. Obtain a Terrarian, equip a die, kill the team, defeat every slime race. I've got one more of them. It's just a lot of stuff to keep you coming back for more. You can see, join via Steam, so you can just do that. Uh, view all friends, as you can see, uh, and maybe just click on his and go join game. Uh, I don't know if his world will be open, but be interesting if he's just opened it for whatever reason but yeah anyway guys there's a lot to talk about about terraria it's a 70 minute video god damn it <laughs> uh, um yeah so anyway guys thank you very much for uh watching this video if you've got this far i highly recommend getting this game it's one of my favorite games of all time and uh yeah so rate and subscribe for future content and peace out guys see you later